Hello everybody. I have four of these books or binders uh, full of uh, concert tickets and I have held on to the what I call big concerts which are concert halls, uh, sports halls, uh, sports arenas, uh, stadiums or other large outdoor places not including festivals. Uh, this is the third book. I'm going to show, show just this one because it takes so much time and I'm not sure if I'm going to show any more of these in the future, but who knows. But this one includes a few of these small, small venue places that I have uh, kept the ticket from. This was Brian Setzer Trio, uh, which was an, uh, uh, a surprise kick. He was here actually on holiday when somebody of his Finnish acquaintances uh, asked him to play concert, so he played two gigs at a club here. Uh, farewell gig from Per Kunt, rock and roll band returned after 30 years to play a few con gigs. Like on a Cosmonauts, their final Finland Finnish concert, uh, they did go to play uh, US tour after this, but this was the final Finnish concert. Richard Thompson, the only time Supergrass were, has played here, Eric Singer project. Uh, the only time Ace Frehley has played solo here. Ele Miliona. Okay, um, so Springsteen and E Street Band. This was the first time that he came to Finland. So I saw his very first Finnish gig. And sometimes when I feel uh, confident that I will recognize all the songs that are played during a concert, I take pen and paper with me and I write them down. But uh, majority of the times I actually just forget to take pen and paper with me, so I don't have too many of those. There's Iron Maiden, Rolling Stones. This is the best stadium kick that I have ever seen. They had CC Top supporting them. There's Keith. Bob Dylan. Awful gig. Dylan couldn't sing a note. Sting. Blackmore's Night. First time I saw them. And I get this kind of add to Paul McCartney. He played a lot of songs. Stray Cats which was complete surprise that they played at the ice hall. I was expecting them to play in a place that would hold maybe a quarter of this audience, but to my complete surprise it was sold out, as was White Snake. That was also a huge surprise to me. Scorpions, Ray Davies, John Fogerty. He also played 29 songs. Mark Knopfler, Iron Maiden, Brian Setzer, Bill Wyman and Rhythm Kings, which was both uh, a great gig and not so great. Uh, during this tour they played uh, like a 50s rock and roll, which I did like, but I have seen dozens of other bands play in 50s rock and roll. But what I like about Bill Wyman's Rhythm Kings is when they played uh, 40s blues, uh, jazz influence blues, jump blues. So unfortunately during this tour they didn't play that kind of stuff. DAD, Dio, Uriah Heap, Asia, Ray Davies, Blackmore's Night, Mark Knopfler and Emil Harris. This was the first time that I ever traveled specifically to another country to see uh, concert. I had seen concerts in uh, London, for example, before this, but this was the first time that I specifically traveled to another country to see a con concert. I went to Stockholm, Sweden. There's Gary Moore and Josh Thorogood, White Snake, Susan Vega, Eric Clapton, BB King. Not exactly a great gig. Brian Adams, Iron Maiden, Heaven and Hell. As you can see, it was on 
10th of June 2007. And this was at the Ice Hall. Uh, Ice Hall and Olympic Stadium here are next to each other. So now when I went to this concert, I parked my car onto the Olympic Stadium's car park, and I walked from there to the uh, to the Ice Hall. And as I was passing Olympic Stadium, Genesis was there practicing or having a sound check. And my favorite song from Genesis is "Home by the Sea." And just as I was passing the stadium. They were playing Home by the Sea, second Home by the Sea. So I was fairly confident that the next day I would hear that song in a concert. Nancy Griffith, the only time she has ever played here. Aerosmith, Rolling Stones, Keith was drunk during this gig. Susan Vega, Ian Stooges. Dave and Otto Donner, Hector. This was the first time that I saw a Finnish artist playing in an arena. Megadeth, Mark Knopfler, John Fogerty, followed by the next day, Kiss. Sold out. As was John Fogert. Judas Priest, 3rd of June. Next day, 4th of June, they fly apart. Next day, 5th of June, Blackmore's Night. Then one day in between, and on the 7th day, Lenny Kravitz in Turku. He also played concert here in Helsinki, but on this day I went uh, to Amsterdam on my holiday, so I had to go. That's why I went to see him in Turku. Bon Jovi. I could have seen Bon Jovi in Amsterdam, but since I had a ticket to see them here, I didn't see them in Amsterdam. Bruce Springsteen and E Street Band. Iron Maiden. Chris Christopherson, the most minimalistic concert that I have ever seen. This was all that there was, just Chris on vocals, harmonica and acoustic guitar. But uh, usually when you see somebody play a guitar, he plays the chords and strums the guitar, but Chris didn't strum the guitar, he only played the chords. Uh, only during the song of uh, They Killed Him, he actually played the guitar. Neil Young with his electric band, Stray Cats, REM, 9th of September at the uh, stadium. So when I heard that this was going to be a stadium gig during September, I thought that that's a bad idea because it can be very cold in here during that time. And it was it was cold and it was raining. Uh, Michael Stipe even said twice during the concert that this is the coldest concert we have ever played. Uh, White Snake, Finnish bands are available in Hiljas et Varit. Heaven and Hell, here's the settlist. Here's the settlist. Salika, Great Gig, ACDC, first time I saw them on the Black Eyes Tour, fabulous concert. Uh, this along with the three times that I've seen Bruce Springsteen and E Street Band are the uh, my second favorite stadium concerts. Second time I traveled to another country to see a concert. Fleetwood Mac at Wembley Arena in London. Deep, Pur Deep Purple with uh, DAD and Bullet. First time I saw Debbie Mode. Lyle well, Lovett and John Hyatt. Status Quo. First time I saw them live. 
Brian Adams, Chris Isaac. Second time I saw ACDC on a Black Ice tour, this time at the other stadium. Green Day. U2. They were here for two nights. And I saw them on both nights. I love our old Olympic Stadium. Second night. Ozzy Osbourne. Roger Waters. The Wall Live. I had another chance to go see Roger Waters. Uh, this one was uh, 27th of April 2011. About uh, 10 months later I was in uh, Sydney, Australia and he was there. I, I had no idea that he was there. I, I came by it completely by accident. And I could have gone and see them because uh, the ticket prices, uh, the ticket, uh, cheapest ticket over there cost more than the most expensive ticket here, so I didn't go see them there. Rush, the only time I saw Rush. Iron Maiden in Berlin, 2011. This one was again complete coincidence. I was there, in, I was in Berlin uh, on holiday, I was just walking the street and I saw a concert poster for Iron Maiden. And uh, at first I just walked past it, but then I turned around to look, have another look at it and I realized that they were here, there, while I was there. So I went to the hotel and asked if there were tickets available. And luckily uh, in Berlin they had three different ticket vendors and one of them had sold out, but the other one. Uh, two other ones still had tickets uh, so I managed to get a ticket the only thing was that uh, I had to go to the arena and pick up the ticket uh, before noon but obviously that was no problem Eric Clapton and Bon Jovi Foo Fighters and this place where the concert was held was uh, fucking awful. I hated it. Luckily there can no more be concerts there because it's being built. They are building a new neighborhood there. And I had a Iron Maiden ticket before going to Berlin, so I saw them for the second time here on that tour. Chade. Here you can see 100% of her Finnish concerts. Jorma Kaukonen. Um, this was a very busy period. Uh, this is 30th of November 2011. I saw 10 concerts uh, during 11 days. Around this time this was one of them. Judas Priest. Susan Vega. Mugly Crew. Third time I traveled to another country to see a concert. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers in Köln, Germany. Alison Krauss in Union Station. I couldn't believe my eyes when I found out that they were coming here. They, they are so popular in the US, I, I just couldn't believe that they would come here. Very glad that I saw them. CC Top. Uh, Lenny Kravitz concert that was uh, cancelled. I had a ticket to that concert. Third time I saw Bruce Springsteen and E Street Band. And this was, to my knowledge, even uh, up until today, this is the longest concert that Bruce Springsteen ever played. Uh, four hours and seven minutes. And also, he played a uh, half an hour acoustic set for those who came to the stadium early. Uh, I didn't see that because I always try to go to the uh, venue just before the concert begins. Imaginarium, Nightwish, uh, again kind of different concert because first they played a concert, then there was a, uh, uh, a break between and they put uh, seats on the floor and then they showed the movie there. Chris Christopherson, the better one of the concerts that I saw, Slash, and this one was a classical music concert. 
the only time that I have been to. Well, I, actually, I, I I was at a classical music concert when I was just a kid, but back then the only thing that I remember was is that I was just trying to stay awake. Kiss and Mark Knopfler. Iron Maiden. Sound Garden, Can Heat, uh, although it doesn't mention here, but there was also uh, Hot Yuna, uh, Scorpions, Black Sabbath, there's the ticket for that one, Debesh Mode, Stevie Wonder, Lenny Kravitz. Finish spent on Who or Not, Judas Priest, ACDC. This was the biggest concert, uh, biggest paying concert that I have ever been to. Uh, apparently, there were about uh, 55,000 people. I have been to free concerts with more people. White Snake, Mötley Crue final tour, uh, their first, uh, final European concert, Motorhead. Final Finnish concert for Motorhead. After this, they went back to Germany, and where they played three more concerts. One Hundred Ten Brothers and Manic Street Preachers playing "Everything Must Go," and that's it for this binder. Yeah, like I said, I have three more of these, but I will uh, stop with this one here. Maybe another time more. Okay, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Bye.